everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be setting up a new planner um, and I'm just I'm gonna change the theme up and everything as well so in my current planner this is the Filofox original patent in the color duck egg and I had sort of set this up as a like breakfast at Tiffany's kind of theme and I really love it I, I do and it'll give me something that I can switch back and forth to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out the things that I want to obviously like keep in my planner and then maybe I'm going to leave some of these things in this planner. I'm not sure. So um, I'm going to keep this and I definitely want this don't touch my planner card to go in the new one. <laughs> So I'm going to take off all the little paper clips. Uh, I need my dividers, obviously, but all the little dashboards, I'm just going to sit those to the side and go from there. Okay, so I've got everything out. So let me show you the new planner or the new binder. So this new binder, I'm super excited about it. I love everything British. I am such an Anglophile. And so I got the Union Jack. Filofax, which I think it is so stinking cute and I just love it. And this is the original um, style as well. And on the inside, it is black and red. Outside, of course, you have the Union Jack with the red, white, and blue. And then the snap says um, Filofax, the original established 1921, and it is in red. And then, um, yeah, I'm in so in love with this planner. All right, it doesn't open and lay flat like the duck egg one, but I think once I get my inserts in and, and, and there's some weight on one side, it will uh, stay open. All right, so let me show you the things that, that I have made for this. So I'm gonna do this. Um, originally my plan was to do it all like, uh, like around London. But then I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I love Doctor Who. The TARDIS is blue. It's a different blue than out here. Um, but the TARDIS is blue. Lots, you know. So I decided to do a Doctor Who theme along with the London theme. And if you're a Doctor Who fan, you know a lot of major things in the show happen uh, in London. So uh, a lot of these things I found, like this I found on Etsy. This is the 10th Doctor. He's my favorite Doctor. And I found this on Etsy. It just printed it really small because I'm just going to use it as a little bit of deco and the planner. Um, this, I just used a font and it did Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey, which is from, if you remember the Weeping Angels episode where he talks about um, time. Um, I can't remember the full quote, but he talks about <laughs> Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey. And then I just made this that just has that Mrs. Miller on there. And I'll show you where I'm going to put those. I made for the first time some vellum. I had shot some footage of me making the vellum, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in here or not because it didn't exactly turn out <laughs> the way that I wanted it to. Now, this is my first time printing on vellum, and I think it did really well. And um, it, this is really thin vellum from Michaels. These two are a little bit thicker. They're silver. And the ink sort of bled just a little bit, and I don't really mind it because it didn't bleed enough to where I hate it. Um, but I am going to get some better quality vellum and see if um, that makes a difference. I'm going to probably be using this iconic dashboard from Cloth and Paper because the doctor is iconic. And so I have five sheets of vellum, but I have six dashboards. So um, these right here, this is an image that I found on Google. And this is when the doctor and Rose say goodbye to each other. And so I have the quote here. I'm burning up a sign just to say goodbye to put over that because that is really like one of my all time favorite moments. Well, it's sad, but I love that moment in Doctor Who. And I just thought it looked really amazing over that dashboard. So then I found a definition of Doctor Who on the internet, which I'm probably going to put over this one. And then <clears throat> that one, this image I also found on Google. And then um, he looks a little distorted because when I made the image three and three quarters by six and three quarters, it uh, kind of distorted his head a little bit. So that's okay. Um, this one is an image I purchased on Etsy, which I really love. 
And this one is an image I also purchased on Etsy, but I don't know if I really like the way it distorted when I put it um, in the dimensions for the dashboard. So I have this one that says, trust me, I'm the doctor. Now these three dashboards are uh, dashboards that I purchased from Sort Stuff Out on Etsy. And so we have uh, one of the telephone booths, the red telephone booths. We have the Tower Bridge and then we have Big Ben. So I'm not sure which of these I'm going to use because I have probably like way too many dashboards than what I need. But I'm definitely going to put this Keep Calm and Don't Blink over the Weeping Angel because, yeah, Keep Calm and Don't Blink. So I think that looks really good. So we're going to do that one. We're going to do this one like this. And then, of course, this one. And I'm probably going to put, um, I definitely want this one in there because I just love it so much. And probably going to put it over like that just because I love the telephone, uh, the telephone booth. I kind of want this iconic dashboard over this one. So then we're left with these dashboards that don't have any vellum over them, which I kind of like the layered look of vellum. And I might add, um, I might figure out some more vellum to do later. So let's go ahead and get started. I need to find it, figure out which, which, oh, what I want in the very beginning. Now I have this piece of vellum also that was a custom from uh, infinite lotus so I do need to put that in there so what I might do is I might actually have this in the very front so let's go ahead and put this in so then next would come my this thing right here this I purchased from cats presso co um, they're just little I thought they were gonna be big enough for credit cards and I was gonna like put this in the back to use as a wallet and it turns out they're not big enough to hold credit cards but that's okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put my, the picture of me and my husband in the middle and then I'm going to do um, the That Mrs. Miller at the bottom and then I'm going to do <laughs> the Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey at the top. So I think that looks nice. Alright so I think that's going to go next. And then I'm going to start out the planner with this. David Tennant is also one of my all-time favorite actors. Um, okay, so I have new dividers coming. I bought dividers from Queen City Designs. And they're a really nice white laminated divider with a typewriter print. Um, I really love these, but I also wanted, I just wanted some plain white ones as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting in this first section, which is my monthly section. Okay, so in front of my daily section, I think that I'm going to put this one because it's probably like my next favorite of all the dividers that I made. Alright, then we'll get the daily in here. I think, I don't know, I, this was um, from Sequins and Paper and I just cut it down to punch in. I think I sort of want to keep it in there. So we're going to put that there and these are all of my daily sheets. Okay, so the next section is going to be list and I think that I want to put um, this one in front of my list section and I'll do a final flip through through here so you can all see what it looks like. I haven't quite mastered the art of punching all of the pages evenly, so it's kind of, <clears throat> some of the hole punches are off. Okay, so in front of my health section, I think that I want, um, we'll put the London dashboard there. Okay, and then in front of the personal section, I think I'm going to put <clears throat> the keep calm and don't blink. This planner is going to be thicker than... I kind of like it, but that's okay. All right, and then in front of the notes section, I am going to put the one that says, trust me, I'm the doctor. Okay, and then um, I have one, actually I don't have any more sections, but I'll probably put something back here just to close off. Uh, I would actually know I need to put my notes in first.
So then I will put something in here to close off this section. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this one. And then I have another one of those um, clear plastic things from, I think it's Cat's Press Co. That I just have some tiny sticker sheets in. So we're going to put that back there. And then I have my page lifter from Poi and Hun that I'm going to put at the very end. And we're going to close it up. Okay, it's not too bad in terms of thickness. I don't like it when it gets so thick that it's bulging at the top of the rings here. So that's one of the things that I was honestly worried about. Now, I have the September clear card from Cloth and Paper. And then I just, this is a journaling card from Sort Stuff Out. And I just have it on the back here so that you can see um, the writing on the clear card. So I am going to put this back in here because I actually really love the way that it looks up here and I like having the month at a glance up there. So then I'm going to take and put this back. This is probably going to be set up just very similar to the way it was before. Um, I do need to find some more like little decorative elements to put in here um, that are Doctor Who related. So there's that and I think what I'm going to do with him is I'm probably just going to stick him down like at the bottom here so that that's the first thing that I kind of see when I open up my planner. Now he is a little bit too long for my liking so I'm going to grab my paper cutter here. Um, I made a little border around him because his hair and his shoes kind of stick out of the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it down just a touch more on the top and the bottom. I'm going to chop off his hair just a touch. I'd rather have his shoes in there, to be honest, because the doctor's shoes are pretty iconic. He wore Converse's. I am absolutely obsessed with Converse's. I love them. Okay, so that actually did it perfectly. Maybe I could layer it with something else and have it like that. I don't know. We're going to start with this right here. I kind of wanted all the stuff in here to be silver, but my paper clips are gold, so we're just going to have to make that work. So I think that looks really cute. And then maybe I can layer, like maybe the don't touch my planner card, like right there. And that could look cute. Or should I put it back on the front here? Actually, you know, I think I'm going to leave it over here because I kind of just like the clean look of that. So let's take and put this over here. There's not a lot of like, really, um, there's really no pockets or anything in here to put deco in. And I mean, a planner is supposed to be functional first and foremost, so... I mean, I really can't complain. Okay, I actually like that a lot. So we're going to leave that right there. And then I have these. I don't really want to put this back in there. My planner is pretty minimal in the way that it's set up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch this because I had it in the front at the beginning or before. And I really like it in the front because it kind of holds everything else down. So I think I'm going to go back with that. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So I don't have a lot of decorations in here. I think what I'm going to do maybe is um, I kind of feel like I want to clip the pages together so that you see that when I open up the tabs, that that's what I see. So we're just going to do just some paper clips there and then one. And I'm going to put them in different places so that they're not all in the same spot and it doesn't like hump up. <laughs> okay, I bought this huge thing of 300 paper clips on Amazon and so, I mean, I have plenty. <laughs> the only thing is, is they are like, some of them are all kind of like stuck together. All right, so we're going to put that one there. And then I do kind of want to put these back in here. I made a little morning routine card just for the heck of it because I was bored. Um, so I'm going to put that in the daily section. I mean, obviously, like we all know that 
we have to do all these things in the morning. I just thought it was cute to put in the planner. So I think that is it. Um, I never really had anything like back here. So put my pen in. I think I'm going to put this on my today tab. All right. So it's a lot different, you know, than my previous one in terms of style. <laughs> my other one was obviously like a lot softer and whatever, but I kind of really love the look of this. So I still want the picture of my cat in here. So I'm, I might put her, I might put her right here. I can set her right here and it doesn't really take too much away from the dashboard because I really like having my kitty cat in my planner. I have no kids that I am a firm mom. So, all right. Um, I think that's going to do it. So let's do a final little flip through. Let me get all this out of the way. Oh, I need to put this back in somewhere. Okay. So in the front here, we just have like the cute little, um, doctor drawing that I got from Etsy. And then the Don't Touch My Planner, which I absolutely love. I, that's from Sequins and Paper, and that's probably my favorite little planner card. Um, so we have an Ollie clip here holding this down. And then, so in the beginning here, we have this sheet with my picture and just some cute little deco. So then we have this front section with my personalized dashboard. And this one... Um, if you don't know, the 10th Doctor, his um, catchphrase was Allons-y, uh, which means let's go in French. And, like, if you watch Doctor Who, um, I haven't really watched a lot of the older Doctor Who, but, like, the 9th Doctor before David Tennant's Doctor, um, his was fantastic. The 11th Doctor's was Geronimo, and so on. So, then we have my monthly section, and that goes into daily... And then we have the list section. Love it. And then this one. So I found the coordinates for London on Google. So if they aren't the coordinates as you know them, sorry, I just Googled it. Uh, love that. And then we have personal section. And then the notes section. I need to figure out, I don't think I'm going to put a piece of vellum over that because I don't really need to, I guess. So then at the back here, we just have the picture of Big Ben to close it off. And then this, and then my page lifter. All right. So that is going to do it for this planner setup. I am pretty obsessed with it. So <laughs> Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, let me know if you are a Doctor Who fan. Who's your favorite doctor? Do you have a favorite episode? Do you have a favorite companion? Um, let me know what your favorite things about Doctor Who are. Let me know what you think about the planner. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and also subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much and I will see you on my next video.